Last week I traded for a paint colored molly mule in southeast Oklahoma. This 18 month old molly hadn't been handled much and she was wild. My goal is to saddle break this mule for hunting. However, there's one thing I haven't mentioned. I've never done this before. I'm as green as this molly mule. However, confidence and patience is the name of the game in mule training, so I've got no choice but to think I can do it. Though I've never broke a mule, I do own a mule and have been studying training for about the last year and have trained this green broke mule of mine. I left my uh, my stick in uh, in Oklahoma. We were in such a hurry. Got some paracord here that I'm braiding. I've got a little braided braided paracord, about four foot long, about a four foot long stick. I'm going to extend my reach by about eight feet. I'm really not trying to be dramatic here by using all this. Uh, I left my high dollar Pirelli, Pirelli stick whip uh, over in Oklahoma and my mule trader buddy's gonna send it back to me so I don't wanna waste a week before I get in that round pin with that mule so, so I just built this real quick. When we got her back to Arkansas, our goal was to begin to socialize the mule and get her used to being bridled, touched, and led. I spent the first three days just getting her to trust me enough to let me touch her. The first time, stick. It took me about an hour. It took me about an hour. Good girl. It's never a good idea to force a mule to do anything. You want to make them think that it's their idea and done on their terms. Mules are extremely smart and they're consistently finding the boundaries of your tolerance. I'm going to try to make some headway with her today. I made a little bit yesterday. I was able to touch her. Today I'm going to try to get a halter on her. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. I'm going to teach you that I'm a button help. Come on. We did this for about two hours yesterday. I'm just letting her know that I'm the boss. We spent most of the first few days doing circling routines in the round pen. This is herd language in the equine world. By pushing the animal, I'm telling it that I'm the boss. By it running away, it's agreeing with me. However, when I relax the pressure, and pull back or step to the side, if she turns towards me, that's her way of showing respect to me as the lead animal. We've got to gain this animal's trust and respect before we can do anything else. And that's what we've been doing. Let me. I'm going to just see if she'll let me touch her. Good. Easy. 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 Good girl. Easy. 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 Easy, easy. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Yeah, there you go. Got her. <laughs> hey. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Day four. Let's see if we can get her. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. 
Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Just gonna lead her around a little bit. Once I got her bridled a time or two, I let my daughter river in the round pen with Izzy. River's a natural, and she's hard to scare. Whether bear hunting or noodling, this girl's got nerves of steel, and animals sense that. I, on the other hand, may appear relaxed, but I'm usually just faking it. Could have traded for a fully broke mule for what I traded for this mule. Part of the reason that I want to break one from scratch is to overcome fear. Just, just walk up to her like you're, like you're not even afraid of her. Yeah, there you go. Good. So if you, there comes a point when you quit acting real timid around her. Overall, our first week with the mule was a success. We got to put our hands on her, we're able to put a bridle on her, and we're socializing her. Really don't have a timeline for when this animal is gonna be saddle broke, but I'm just gonna watch her, take her lead, and I'm just going to be patient and I'm going to be confident.